Right, hello there. Happy New Year. Happy 2018. It's a new year. It's a new start. And all that jazz. And I'm doing a cold opening. Not because it's a new start. Not because it's a new year or anything like that. I've had a bit of a computer accident. So I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping first. And then I'm going to move on to the actual review subject, which is just off to my right. Which is, of course, the thing you're all dying to find out about. Yeah, I had a bit of a computer problem where... Unfortunately, my hard drive got wiped, more or less. There was some sort of system update and unfortunately it deleted everything I had on apart from the Windows files. So Windows 10 is absolutely fine in itself, just like it was before that. But I've lost everything, photographs, music, any kind of file that I had on before. Video games, they're all gone. I'm slowly recreating them, but I have it does mean that I've lost my editing software. So what my aim is, no music, no fancy graphics, because I've lost the graphics as well. I'm just going to do this review for the new year, the old-fashioned way. Just me, my hands, in front of the camera, like this. And here's the review thing. And this is basically going to be what I'm going to be doing in the meantime. Uh, until I've obviously I've managed to get things sorted out. Um, so what is this then? That is a very good question because I'm still not entirely sure. So I've noticed that it wasn't particularly well mixed up before and it does sort of give the impression that it's supposed to be some sort of uh, Rubik's clock cube type uh, puzzle thing. But when it came to me, it was it's a Christmas gift as well, it was already solved. This is basically more or less how it came to me on the, that great day. Um, yeah. It's a completely pre-solved puzzle. And you can see that what you're supposed to do is obviously turn it around like so and whatnot so that everything goes across like that so everything's mixed up. But it, was all, it already came pre-solved. As you can see, it's ridiculously easy therefore to uh, just solve it again. You can't really mix it up that particularly well as it is. Uh, what we did find out though was that if you notice here, I don't know how well the camera's going to pick this up, this little orange bit here, yeah, I'm just looking off camera, I don't it is orange, but on the viewfinder it looks yellow. Um, that can actually be taken out, I'm not sure if any of the others can be, no, they're all otherwise quite secure, but you can obviously slide them across with a bit of difficulty. Uh, hmm. Let's make sure it's lined up properly. It is lined up properly, it's just rather on the stiff side, but you get the picture, don't you? Let's try something else. Let's try one of those ones. Yes, that slides over a bit more easily, and so on. So you could, in theory, mix them up. But here's the thing. I don't have the packaging with me at the moment, and the packaging gave you absolutely no information whatsoever as to what you were supposed to do. It just gave you the company logo, or an incredibly generic logo, the legend that is made in China, the sad onion badge and various bits and pieces about how it was recyclable. And yes, you would probably intend to uh, recycle this quite quickly, but there's not even a name for what this product is supposed to be called. The mystery something or other. The only thing on the actual package, well, the actual toy itself, the actual puzzle itself, is this Muzi Limited made in China. Your guarantee of quality. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, it's a bit bewildering. I mean, even uh, 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 grabbing the ends here, there's a little bit of give, but not much. Not enough to actually warrant trying to twist it any more than I already am. Because if I did try twisting it any more like that, I'd probably end up breaking it. And I don't particularly want to break it. Um, yeah, it's... I suppose what one use for it would be to just get the colour combination that you want, which could be absolutely anything, and then just have it... Somewhere is a piece of strange modern art. As it made us, these kind of look like smarties. And the only real difference between, you know, these regular pieces here and this one, the special one, is that it has a sort of asterisk-like shape to it. And I'm guessing that there must be less give on this uh, on this end here than it was here on the little tooth type thing here. You can sort of see how it would fit in. Maybe you're supposed to turn them... No, they don't have any turn like that. Let's just read this one. This is the special one. Yeah. 
Well, it would have been a good idea if it had been already pre-mixed or something like that. And in case you're wondering, no, you can't get all, well, you could get all the colours to of a particular row, line or whatever, to be all the way around here. Or at least some of them, because there's only five across and there's something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Jump cut. That's going to bugger me up a bit. Because I don't have any editing software. I might be able to edit using YouTube's own software, but never mind. But anyhow, let's get back to the counting game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve on the top row. Each row has twelve, and it's five across. So you can't really have them all on one side, can you? Well, there you go. All right. Well, I'm going to now try to figure out how to merge this together, these two separate video files, into one because the camera has decided to bugger up on me. It just automatically stopped without any warning. Urgh. So, general housekeeping. I might very well have to go on a little bit of a hiatus if this isn't, uh, if this isn't possible to work the way I want it to work. Um, hmm. Happy New Year! I'll get things sorted out in the end. Have a good one!